It's a simple act, making a cup of tea. But for Corporal Andrew Garthwaite, it's a feat of remarkable bionic engineering. The soldier from South Tyneside has one of the most advanced bionic arms in the world, and he's controlling it with his mind. Because obviously I haven't had a thumb or a finger for the last three years, and then all of a sudden to start feeling stuff is just a total weird feeling. So you've got to train your brain to actually realise to move this hand. And with the long sleeve, it doesn't look as if you've got a prosthetic arm until it starts making the motor noises itself. Three years ago, Corporal Garthwaite was struck by a rocket-propelled grenade while fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan. From the right-hand side, I heard a bang, but then within a split second, it was I was on the floor, my arm was on fire, and I stood up and I was thought like, oh, God, and my arms fell off. And it was a big shock, so I actually fell back to the ground again. I was lifted up and after about 10 minutes that was from getting hit to a helicopter coming in and getting tucked to Camp Bastion. I, I made it back and I'm alive so I owe my life to these guys. His life saved, Corporal Garthwaite would go on to make medical history in becoming the first person from the UK to have this bionic technology. So how does it work? Corporal Garthwaite's arm was blown off at the shoulder. Surgeons rewired the nerve endings that would have run down to his hand into his chest. Then an electronic connection would link his chest muscles with his bionic prosthesis. What this means is that we take all the nerves that originally went to his arm and reroute them into muscles of his chest so that eventually that when he thinks of moving his hand, moving his arm, moving his fingers, the different muscles on his chest wall will then start to fire part of the muscle that they've put it in, that actually my hand feels as if it's on my chest. So now when I tap my left hand side of my chest, my thumb, and when I tap the right hand side, it's my actual little finger. So now when I think about opening my hand, which is, I do, I think about doing that on this side, it actually, I forget there, opens the hand. And then I can still do the party trick of it. Go on a full 360 if you wanted to. <laughs> it's always a good one for the kids' parties. <laughs>